Hey, my name is Kamar De Los Reyes. We're here at Treyarch talking about Black Ops 2. All right, Kamar, what was it like playing such a deep character as Raul in this game? Um, it was the first time I played a, a, a villain of this, um, this you know, multi-level villain. You know, so it was it was it was pretty intense. It took up a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of time and energy and emotional energy. You know. Creating uh, a villain that that uh, that the audience uh, would most importantly would empathize with. And what do you so, think it says about video games as an art form well, when you have David S. Square writing the Black Ops Two script? Yeah, well, right. I mean, uh, it's uh, they're moving up in the world. No, I mean, it's. I think it's about you know. I, I mean, I think you know we obviously have an audience. But I, I really think that you know people are going to start to really take notice. You know, this this is not a fad. This is for real. You know, and and what's you know this is one of the best scripts I've ever I've ever worked on, bar none. I mean, no doubt. How have you seen storytelling evolve with this game? Um, you know, I I play video games with my with my 15 year old son, um, who's big into these one you know single shooters and. And you know this game is epic, first of its kind. Um, this this is uh, uh, you know it's like watching a film. It's real storytelling, and I think uh, I think uh, the players are going to be uh, pleasantly surprised. What are the challenges of bringing a bad guy to life in a believable way? Well, again, you know, going back to uh, you know, I think the most important thing is to create someone that that the viewer or that the player can empathize with. Because you know you can play a one level, a, a one-dimensional, you know, villain, and and you know that's that's easy. It's someone you know you you want to create someone that that the that the player will, uh, well you know at one moment he might love and and empathize with, and then at another moment he you know he will hate and you know not understand at all and cannot relate to him at all. So you know that's where it becomes really really difficult and and fun obviously, as the actor. Now, as a Hollywood actor, what is it about Call of Duty that you think attracts such recognizable actors to do performance capture for this game? Yeah, um, you know, a lot of these guys, well, you know, the, the, the truth is, uh, you know, this is, this is the first game where actors like myself and, and James Burns who plays uh, Sergeant Frank uh, Frank Woods and uh, and Rich, who plays David Mason, who are actual actors playing the roles. We are the guys in the video game. In the past, you've always had stuntmen playing the role, doing the motion capture, and then having someone come in and do the voice, like Kiefer Sutherland or Gary Oldman or whatever. Um, so. Uh, you know, I think it's a lot of fun for them either way. I mean, they get to they get to do the voice. I personally uh, thought it was a hell of a lot more fun doing it all. And 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 I think that's what sets this game apart from all the others. And what was it like working with Performers Capture? Was it the first time you've, you've done Performers Capture? Yeah, it was the first time I'd, I've done uh, uh, Performance Capture. You know, the the. The preparation uh, was the same, the same approach I take for film, theater, whatever it might be. Uh, uh, but once I was on the stage, uh, remember it's, uh, you know, motion capture stage is surrounded by, you know, hundreds of cameras. Um, every once in a while they'll give you a prop, but not always. And for the most part, it's a blank slate. So everything, uh, everything that, uh, you know, is, is based on your imagination. And based on that, is that, is that harder or easy for you when you're working with performance capture with other actors? No, I mean, f f I can only speak for myself. I mean, you know, I had an amazing experience. You know, it, I don't know if it's harder or easier. Um, I don't know if, uh, if that's how I would refer to it, um, Craig, but I, it, I don't think it's ever easy. I don't think it's ever, you know, it's fun is what it is. And, and I had, um, and I had some uh, amazing, uh, talented actors to uh, to work off of. Uh, not to mention Dave Anthony, uh, the director, who is just uh, as as good as they come. 
And what do you think of the year 2025 adds to this game? Yeah, well, it's a whole new element, right, to the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 franchise, you know, going into the future. But I think, um, as I'm sure Dave Anthony stated, it was imperative that we do that if we're going to continue to capture this this audience. Um, so, um, yeah, it's it's new, it's fun, um, and uh, and very and, 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 and intriguing. So, yeah. what's your favorite new toy or technology that Black Ops 2 introduces in this game? Oh man, you know I gotta I gotta say you know uh, the one of the coolest things are the invisible suits. You know these guys walking around, you barely you know they're I gotta I gotta say those are pretty cool. I don't know I, I hope I just didn't give away something, but I probably did. Um, yeah, I'm 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 gonna stick to that. The invisible suits are pretty cool.